Inside this workshop in Guatemala, a radical transformation is underway. These old school buses were taken off the roads in the United States. But through hard work and ingenuity, Guatemalans are injecting new life into another country's junk. For the United States, these yellow buses have worked for eight to ten years and are no longer useful. They might say we take their garbage, but we transform it and make it better. And the buses work for another 10, 15 or even 20 years. Each bus is customized according to the needs of its owner. Windows and seats are removed and the body is repaired and modified. Larger engines, more powerful turbochargers, 10-speed manual transmissions and beefier brakes are installed. Custom paint jobs complete the month-long process, which costs upwards of $13,000. Here, a bus with 10 rows might be loaded with 80 people, while in the United States it would only carry half as many, and their children. The buses also carry lots of merchandise on the roof racks, so they need a big mechanical transformation. The brightly colored buses are a ubiquitous part of the Guatemalan landscape. The upcycled buses haul millions of people to work every day. Passengers choose the fanciest buses, hopeful that a nice paint job means the owner has also maintained the brakes and the tires. Drivers often work 12 to 14 hour shifts, earning around $300 a month. But they can earn more if they beat the competition to the next stop. Some have driven the same bus for more than a decade. The bus is part of your family, and over time you develop a lot of affection for it. Every day you're with it, so the bus becomes like a family member. Could these tricked out machines represent an antidote to our throwaway culture? Unwanted up north, they've become an affordable transportation solution that shows no sign of slowing down. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, Antigua, Guatemala.